Ladies and gentlemen, you know where you're at. This is your host with the most. How's everybody doing out there? If you're new here, welcome. Truly glad everybody stopped by. Let's get into it, y'all. Um, whenever you guys get to any new setup, let's give it a few ticks to load and things like that. All right, all right. Man, I, I don't know if you guys remember this one. We're going to see if you guys remember this one. I didn't even know they were still around. Haven't seen them since. I haven't really seen them since um, about a year. Um, um, if not almost a year. Looking real good. Let me just go here. Y'all know what I do. Still. Still, you know, nothing. Uh, what am I doing? Nothing. Um out of the ordinary um before i even get started let's go to auto enable autocomplete um this is a feature people i always speak on it think this is a very key feature um if you're into this type of stuff searching for things and things like that you're going to need the virtual keyboard um it helps you along the way let's 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 get it okay i, I just love this this is one of the features i love about um, this this setup thing I, I do. I love to be able to search. That's why I don't like all the other things, man. It's like kind of weird, you know, but this is better. Remember, once you guys get it, at least turn it on, okay? You're going to have to turn it on. Just because you get it doesn't mean that it's on. You have to turn it on. All right. All right, let's just take a look around, see what we got here. Don't forget, people, you, you will see your widgets and things like that. You will see yours. Widgets, are they're here. Um, I don't know. You guys going to see. Y'all going to see what it is. Nothing going to be your favorites unless you place it. All right. Let's see where we go if we go on to something. Let's see. So we're pulling from the crew um, here and here. Um, pretty much the crew is what, what it is on this. Um, and I don't have any problem with that. Um, no. Um, you do have a couple. You do, you do have some choices here. So, you know, it's not just the crew. You do have choices. Um, let's go right into system. Let's make sure everything's on the up and up as it is. All right, let's go. Let's go in here. There's only one thing I don't really like about this, but it's cool. It's like almost you can't see the bar. It's like too much of the same color, but you know we could work around that. And that's just that's just specifically with this thing. Now, um, I went with the Harley Quinn thing. Let's go on in here. And what we want to be at is video player input stream. Let's click on that. Okay, input stream adaptive and RTMP input. Let's make sure you will have the input stream adaptive here. You always, the majority of times, if you can see this, if you can see the video player input stream, you will have the input stream adaptive here. Go ahead and enable it, okay? And don't be afraid to see what it does, okay? Click on it, long press on it, and get the information about it. Okay, know what it does. It doesn't make sense to just turn it on and you don't know what it's doing. I had to do it. You should do it also. <laughs> okay, now let's go get the RTMP input. How you do that, you just back out to the main um, browser. And then what you want to do is go to install from repo and then go to all repos. Okay, and once you get there. Let's go back down to video player input stream. Okay, now the RTMP input will be here. I had no problems getting it. I didn't have to clean cache. I didn't have to do any of that. Um, it's just here. Okay, so go ahead and get that. And once you get it, it will be enabled. And like I said, don't be afraid to long press on it 
and get the information on what it actually does. All right? All right. Um, just a heads up, if you guys want to turn off your RSS feed, because <coughs> it will be on, here it is here. All you have to do is go to skin and go on down. All right? To RSS feeds. But what I want to go to now is player. <coughs> Excuse me. And just a heads up, you always want to have your settings on on advanced or expert. I really don't know why I would tell you to have it on advanced and not expert, but <coughs> Excuse me. To do what I do, you have to be on either of the two. I just have mine on expert. And what we want to do, let's go over here on, on right here, videos. And what I want to focus on here is enable HQ scalers for scaling above. Now, me personally, I like to have mine on 100 for all the devices, 3 gigabytes and up. Your shields, various other devices that's out there that's you know, three gigabytes and up. Uh, medium devices, fire TVs, as well as your cubes and your NVIDIA tubes. Those are all two gigabyte devices. I consider those to be medium devices. Um, I like to have it on about 50 or 60. And for your low end devices, I like to tend to stay on 20 or 30. Now, people, this is a real section. It needs to be checked every time you get a brand new setup. I don't care what it is. You have to check on it. It needs to be checked on, all right? Um, and do bear in mind, these settings These settings work for me, but do bear in mind, I am, I do use the Ethernet cord. Now, when you're dealing with Wi-Fi, it might vary. So don't, 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 don't be afraid to, to play with it. Try 40, try 50. See what works for you, people. This is what this is all about, learning something. Not just following, you know, the same footsteps. It's not going to always work the same way if you're um, between Wi-Fi and Ethernet cord, okay? So do keep that in mind. Now, um, let me just give you a heads up. This is a base um, setup. That means they have themes. I went with the Harley Quinn theme, Okay. But it is a base. I didn't want to do the base because it was just a little bit too simple. I wasn't, you know, I mean, it was cool. It's just, <laughs> it, it, it's cool. I just didn't, I, I didn't want to, I didn't want to, um, um, I, I just didn't, it, it was just too, it was just too, it was just too um, plain. So, I went with the Harley Quinn thing. Um, nothing else really to do now, people, but go right into the Wiz. Okay. And as you guys can see, um, it's a base joint. I don't know if a lot of you guys remember this, but uh, real easy to install a theme to. Um, you just go here, and like if you want to install the theme, you just click on it. Okay, and it, like it, like I said, it, it comes with 19 different themes. Okay. But what I want to do is go right into maintenance. And the first thing I want to do is go into cleaning tools. This is very important too if you're installing themes. After, if you want a theme, install it, but make sure you do a total cleanup so you can get your um, backgrounds, you know, to change, all right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a total cleanup here. But I always do a total cleanup before I actually write my advanced settings. That's what we're about to do now. Let's go to system tweaks and fixes. And what we want to do is go to quick configure advanced settings XML. All right. Now, if you guys don't know what you're doing, 
just leave the first two alone, all right? Me personally, I like to just bump mines all the way up, bang. And what we want to focus on here is buffer mode, okay? Instead of having it on two, let's get it on one, all right? And then we just simply write the file. Now, after you write the file, you will have these two options here, okay? There's only one thing left to do, and that's just to restart your setup, all right? Now, I'm going to be real with y'all. Um, me, personally, I like to actually write my advanced settings before I actually get the setup. Works out better for me like that. I know y'all see me just bump up my advanced settings. I've never had a problem with it, but I am on the shield. So I, you know, some people will tell you, "Hey, it'll make it, it'll make it." You know, it won't, it, it won't work right. I don't know. That's what some people say. Never had a problem with it. Never had a problem with writing my advanced settings before I actually get the setup. Some people will tell you that too. I'm just telling you what works for me. I've never had a problem. Let me know how you guys like this one. If you get a chance, like, share, and subscribe. But most of all, comment. Don't forget to hit the notification bells, people. As always, I'm hoping you're having a blessed, peaceful, and a productive day. Love and peace for all. Never forget, it is good to be good, and it is bad to be bad. I'm going to see you guys on the next one, y'all. Peace.